There's something magical happening here. And women are standing up. And I'm sure by the time we get inside the union buildings. So Vuga Moy. So Vuga Moy. We're doing it. Nangaman. This is the power. Women across the country and across the border have come together to stand against the high rates of gender based violence, not only in the country but across the continent. When you wake up in the morning, you are not safe in your own house. You're gonna have to get out of the house and go face, you know, a group of men that's walking there and have this anxiety that builds up, you know, decide, do I cross the road, do I not? It's all of this extra work that you have to do just because you're you. I've had the total shutdown in Pretoria. I mean, it's important if you're not here, what are you doing, right? I mean, this is a strong message we try to send to society about that the Khate Yo, we're tired of being killed, of being raped, of being assaulted. It needs to come to freaking end. Yeah, yo, we're tired actually. We're tired. It's a lot. You know? um, it's been a long day. And look who's behind us while uh, the lady is checking for the time it's there. It's 1738 and the police are out here to police our expressions. Out here policing our damn Shut up, expressions. Come us, you know? Like, keep the quiet, whole shut up. day. But we managed to get through. There's, yeah. there's a crowd there. Um, on that side of the screen who are still pushing at yeah. this late hour. The sun is about to set. We are tired, but there's mm. been so much drama. A lot happened you know, today. And it's time for us to actually just like reflect on what's, what's happened here yeah. today and want to tell you a bit more about it. Mm. Um, when I first got here, mm. um, it was around 12 as well. Yeah. I came a bit late. I wasn't here from the morning. People mm. were already exhausted. People have been here the whole day. I know the people that Since are behind morning. us have still been here yeah. uh, for the whole day. Like They left where they were at like half past 8, got here at yeah. 9. People were exhausted. So by the time I got here, it really felt like a memorial service. Yeah. Uh, people weren't singing mm. that much. People were just like quiet. You did you know? say that it feels like um, it's a memorial service. Yeah, it, you look, it's important to to remember and to mourn the bodies that have been lost at the hands of gender-based the bodies violence. that we are losing. Are every the bodies that we continue day. to lose, yeah. right? Um, but I think for the most part of it, when I got here, it was very much a peaceful protest. Um, it was very much calm, cool, co like and collected. Yeah. And it was. Uh, women literally just remembering um, and almost there was like a it was a somber moment when I got here when when people started arriving into the union mm. buildings it was quite it was quite somber we had no idea of what the program was going to look like there was yeah. a mic there were four or five there mics stages. There were stages and we we're like okay how is this state theater stages how is this going to happen but all we didn't know was that we're going to hand over a memorandum that's been drafted yeah. by the, the, the steering committee of total shutdown uh, March uh, to be handed it, over it was drafted by to a member Many of women, state though, right because they did put it out people to put on ideas oh yes there was a call for like you know submissions etc yeah. the program ended haphazardly and people were a like voice oh what now um, who are we handing the memorandum to? Where's Naledi, the person? Where's the person? Naledi Pando comes down to meet us in the, mm. in, in the crowd, in the audience. Naledi, right? don't do that to yourself anymore, girl. Now, Naledi, Let us fight these men. Let's speak now. about who Naledi is. Naledi is the Minister of Higher Education. Okay, uh, this is gender-based violence. Yeah. Uh, this, this, Yo, this much is about gender-based violence. Wow. This much is about women, right? Um, who suffer violence at the hands of men. Yes. Who is our Minister of Women, Batabile Damini? Was she? Where was she? We'll just have to check the Twitter streets for that. She was conspiring the hijacking of the movement on the other side of the streets. <laughs> like, uh, guys, you know I think they were at Lutuli House. I don't yeah, know if they were much. They, they marched to themselves. Yeah, yeah. They organized their march to protest, to I, go to themselves. No, I think but at least they understand start. what the problem exactly. is. Exactly. They know so that they, they are know the, that problem. They're the problem. So that's cool, right? So what happens? The women are like, no, na lady, we mm. don't want to speak to, to you. you. Yes, you're a woman. We acknowledge and that. And we see you. But you're not the person that's yes. that's that's not in your capacity as what, na lady. Mm. 
In your capacity as who, Ms. Pando? And it feels like they are neutralizing this the whole thing by profile. bringing in a woman. You know? Yes, of course. Let's neutralize this whole situation and just take a powerful woman uh, who will calm them down. So we demanded the presence of, of course, your president. Mm. Uh, so Ramaphosa, and then we tried we to push, push the gates down. The gates then. That's when we were like, ah, we organized this is not a tea party. We're like young black red because we are women. Izani, let's organize to push this gate and go in like we did the old school way. We yeah. came there, we pushed the gate. Obviously, the police are countering us, but we know we put our bodies on the line. Of and course, we've been doing as we that. always do. As we always, a revolution, guys. You can't come and have a picnic in a revolution. You have to leave, leave a stamp. With Baz now, there was a protest yeah. that happened here, and we must respond because yeah. they were not willing to respond at of all. Of course, but they were waiting to see and then As Busi Siwe Siabe you know? si had tweeted that a leaderless movement. Yeah, there was a vacuum. A leaderless movement. So... Uh, okay, we'll lead ourselves, Kena, right? Because at the end of the day, it's let's our Let's push march. beyond the threshold. Because let's be honest, uh, the Union Building is a public uh, monument yes. that has that has that that is accessible at any point in time. Why? There are about eight entrances to get towards going up to the actual yeah. Union. Why are we being blocked by On one, one gate? gate? One <laughs> gate! <laughs> I sang again at Tinaya, I sang again at Tinaya. I'm like, okay, sure. I'm like, okay, sure. Let's not do those crowd mentality things. Yes. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> no, but they dealt with us. Let me tell you what happened at the gates, which really troubled me so much. You know how the police, when they push you and all of that, and then there were other women who were also pushing us. The one that pushed me on her face. Oh no, those are the organizers, organizers of total shutdown. The organizers Guys, uh... who pushed my face together with the policemen. You know, and they formed other the women human chain to protect the, human, to the, protect the, the men or, or to protect the patriarchs. But of course, they're going to say that's not what they actually did, right? What they did was they were protecting us from, from the, the police. police. I think they were facing the wrong direction. Yes, we'll get first the images foremost. of that. <laughs> first and foremost, yeah, you know, because majority of the people that march today are young women, mm. and a good margin no, but of there them was a are nice police. intergenerational mix, I think. You no, know? but the majority were still young women. Okay, but I think the the older women could not be missed. Yes, definitely. No, 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 like no, no, no. definitely not even that. Not even that they were there. We saw them on the corner. Now we were together. Life, yeah. You know, even yeah. some of our colleagues were here. Uh, because there's a lot of work that mm. people have put into this feminist movement yeah. against gender-based violence altogether. Who have come, you know, who are here, etc. But. Hi, let's just thank them for their presence. Yeah, and also, you know, I think for more than anything, it's this whole thing is opening a very much needed conversation amongst us as black women, as women, as trans women and queer women, just as a woman collective in South Africa, which we must clean up our house as well, you know, to know which is be really with each other, you know, because when we're confronting patriarchy, but we have small uh, tensions amongst us, then it derails us, you know, we want to be able to be free and to be trustworthy of each other and to trust each other as well. I don't want to feel like my body and my pain is going to be sold to the highest bidder. You know, when I come to a protest to fight and say I'm being raped or I'm anxious and I know that somebody's been killed. In fact, during the protest, somebody got raped in the country. Mm. Let's think about that. Mm. During the whole protest, there is a woman who got killed. Mm. That's how serious this thing is. And we need to get to a point where we all understand that. And the seriousness of this and also seeing Wuti, there's other political things that are going to try to capture us and all of those things like they did like they do with all movements and we should be wary of them and be vigilant at all times i think we were let down a bit by the organizing here in gauteng because mm-hmm. when you look at examples of what's happening across mm-hmm. the country look at kzn right the women the cops who are women in kzn were marching with yes. uh, uh, the protesters right here what we have are men who are the riot control, whatever, yeah. police. Who, who are saying Wang Phillies? Guys, the cop told dude, me, Kamu Phillies. are harassing people during protests. Wow. Wow. A woman protest, and, but we know this. They, they know this. We told them, your cops harass us. These are the people we are also fighting. With my reporter, my cases, they ask us, what were you wearing? They ask us, why are you so drunk? And you send the very same people to come and control our anger. Yeah. There are some, um, you know, statements that have been mm. written by women who have suffered a great deal of gender-based violence at the yes. hand of at the hands of patriarchs. 
women from all different walks of life mm. with different sexual identities and gender identities that were read by people yeah. who are part of the organization on their behalf, right? Yeah. No. I think for me, you know, I was worried with how, you know, I feel like there have been many attempts to, okay, I'm not going to put this myself, to gatekeep. Yeah. The entire movement, you know, from the organizing, and there could have been many reasons which are valid. Um, one, we can't have the same faces popping up, up and again every single time there's a political, you know, movement or political statement coming out from women, especially young black women, because we also are against the idea of the struggle being individualized. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So I was game for that. But after having come here, then, you know, you see, there's other nuances, especially as someone who experienced Fees Must Fall and how that built up so many walls yeah. on how I engage and confront and, you know, maneuver through movements. Yeah. Because I'm always looking out to see what, who's the, who has the extra hand. Mm. Who has a hand that we're not seeing right yeah. now? Yeah. Who has an influence? Yeah. Who's dropping in tiny things or whatever, yeah. right? Because yeah. we have to look out for these things. Yeah. Because next thing you know, uh, we are busy being used as uh, bodies for funding. You know? That has nothing to do with us. Of course, it happened before. It happened with Christmas. So we know this shit. It's one thing to to organize a march and to demonstrate against gender-based violence. It's another thing to participate politically in this country yeah. as women it's another thing to to politicize yeah. violence against women right i mean the 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 conversation around land in this country yeah. and women could have been brought in yes. because the fact that it's women who work it's not just farms, a social issue this thing it's a political issue it's a it's political an issue, issue you know yeah. the fact that there are women who work on farms that yeah. most of uh, the farmers in South Africa are women women are the are the farmers are the yes. ones who are working the we field. make seventy percent of the world's food production, but are paid. But the you know, do you get what I mean? Yeah. But how much money goes back to those women, mm. right? Like who gets paid more, etc., etc. Yeah. For me, that's also a form of gender-based violence. You it know? definitely it, is. It, 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 for me, it's, it's not a consequence that at this current moment, the men in the country or those that are concerned with the big national questions mm. are discussing land. While women are discussing the safety of their body, yes. right? I, I don't see those issues to be. I don't think those issues can be separated completely. They shouldn't. So they for me, it's separated. one thing to coordinate a protest. Yeah. But it's another thing to make a meaningful political. Because um, what I what I gather from this is that total shutdown should definitely be a protest movement moving on from now that covers a whole lot of other agendas that women have in the country. You know, we can't just leave it at this. And I hope the organizers are gonna definitely pull something through we need this month to carry us and to give us momentum you know because we know how the country thinks which women's month let's use that against them and actually make it our month and our year for the rest of the year for the rest, until we get shit done yeah because we can't leave it at this yeah. we are desperate for freedom we are desperate for liberation we are desperate we are literally desperate and mm. we can't leave things hanging like this i want to congratulate uh the organizers of Total definitely, Shutdown definitely. for bringing uh, such a group of women Yo, no, together under one name power right to under power one bracket and i'm also a bit celebratory and glad yes. that i didn't see you know uh people wearing their regalia so much right yeah. Anyway, guys, join the conversation online on Twitter, on Facebook, and on Instagram. We're going to do live videos for you guys uh, soon enough. Um, the hashtag is the hashtag unpoliced expression. But the police is still there, but we will not allow anybody. We will police your expressions. <laughs> How what? ironic, right? The police are yet to police, police our, our expressions. expressions, of course. The police but are so are some of the women. Yes, that's true. Who are here? We'll deal with that in the second part. We're here. <laughs> we need to deal with women who are policing people's yes. expressions yes. at a protest where we're supposed to be expressing ourselves. Yes. But 
constantly policed because we are your black feminists. Problematic face. Erase us. <laughs> we love you. <laughs> Papa <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Don't. <laughs> Don't police my expression.